As a day trader, it's important for me to be able to get in and out of trades quickly when needed because being even just a penny slow can really add up for me. I trade pretty much any and all stocks out there, A through Z, it doesn't matter, but I do trade a lot of the lower cap stocks. So if I were to do the math and say I trade an average of 10,000 shares a day as an example, which if you know me, that's being on the conservative side. And let's just say I get in my trades a penny slow from my intended entry. So every penny would be $100 I'm losing out on. And if we also add in being a penny slow exiting, that's another $100. So on average, I'd be losing out on 200 bucks per day. There's a about 250 trading days a year, that's around $50,000 a year I may be losing. That's close to an average yearly salary in the US, which is why I always say every penny matters. Now, if we're getting slippage on the way in or out, or if the stock is spready or liquid, there's not much I can do about that. But what I can control is at least the speed in which I can execute my trades and I can do that by using shortcut keys or also known as hotkeys. And I'm gonna show you how I personally use them. So when I first started trading, if I wanted to get into a stock, I would have to bring up the order entry box, type in the symbol, calculate how many shares I need per my risk, put that number in, set the order type, punch in the price, send it in, then confirm, and finally the order is live. Now that's a lot of steps. By the time I do all that, the market is fucking closed, right? So instead, here's what I do now. Check it out. You ready? Boom, the order is live. One button is all it takes, much faster, right? So I use something called a macro keypad. And with this, I can pretty much customize any button to do whatever I want. And there's a bunch of different ones out there. I don't know if some of you would like this exact one because the buttons aren't mechanical. So I would shop around. I probably went through three different ones before I landed on this one. And I like this one because it just fits my hand nicely and the layout is very customizable. And I do trade on two different platforms, Thinkorswim and E-Trade, and I'm able to trade on both with this one device. So I'll show you how I have this all set up. Now, most, if not all desktop platforms should have some sort of hotkey option available. Each one just might work a little bit differently. This one is Thinkorswim. And if I go into my application settings, you can see that there is a hotkeys tab. And under that, I can make shortcut keys for pretty much any function. But what I'm most interested in is the active trader section, which is for executing trades. Let's ignore the keys for now and just focus on the functions. Personally, I just use these four at the moment, but feel free to look through and set up all the functions that you feel will help accommodate your trading. But for me, I use flat now, which is for when I wanna get out of a trade, whether I'm long or short, it doesn't matter, it closes out for both. Second is buy at the ask for when I wanna buy a stock. I don't use buy at the market because when entering a trade, I'm always trying to get it at a specific price, not a random one. Third one I use is sell at the bid. Thinkorswim doesn't have a dedicated short button. So this is used for shorting a stock and cancel all, which just cancels any pending order. And to actually set the keys, this one gives a drop down menu I can choose from to pair with control, alt, or shift. Now, when I used to do it off the keyboard, I used a combo of keys that made more sense. But now with my macro keypad, it doesn't really matter since I'm programming it onto a single key anyway. So once that's set, I now go into my X keys keypad menu. And all I did was match the same combo of keys I just set on Thinkorswim to the buttons I want. So for example, my flat now button is control plus A. And I wanted to set that at the top left here on its own so it's easy to find and hard to misclick. So all I did was program this button to perform control plus A, and now that is my flatten now button. Pretty straightforward, right? Then I set the left button to short, right is to buy, and the top right is to cancel orders, and that's it. Ignore the other buttons for now. So if I go back into my thinkorswim to use these hotkeys, I need to open an active ladder window. And on this window is where I can set the symbol and the quantity to use with my hotkeys. Make sure the auto send is checked to bypass the confirmation screen. So let's say I wanna buy 1000 shares of AMC. Well then I have to type in AMC, 1000 shares, and then I can click my hotkey and I'm in. Not bad, but to even make it faster, what I do is I have multiple active ladder windows open with some of my top watches already populated on there. So let's say for today, I'm watching some old meme stocks, AMC, GameStop, and BlackBerry. And for quantities, Thinkorswim has these little preset quantity buttons I can use. So if I wanted to buy that same 1000 shares of AMC, I can just click on the 1000 share button on AMC, hit buy, and I'm in. I'll hit my cancel hockey to cancel. If I want 3,000 shares, I hit 3,000 shares, hit the buy button and I'm in. Now, what about if I wanted 2,000 shares? There's no 2,000 share button. So what I would do is I would hit the 1,000 share button twice, which will give me that 2,000. 
Or let's say I wanted to short 9,000 shares of BlackBerry. Well, then I would click 3K on BlackBerry and hit my short hotkey three times and I'm in. I can also click these little plus and minus signs to change the increments by the thousands. And to exit, I hit my flat now position and I'm out. So in real time, I can go pretty fast when I need to. And if you haven't noticed, I haven't had to touch the keyboard once. Before when I used to do it off the keyboard, I would have to go back and forth. This way, I don't even need to look down to see what I'm pressing. So to me, this is like a video game. And like any other video game out there, once I get used to the controls, it just becomes second nature. And I'll quickly show you how to use the same keypad with E-Trade since it's a bit different, which is what these rest of the keys are for. So I mostly use E-Trade to short if it's hard to borrow on Thinkorswim. Sometimes I'm able to locate it here. Or if I'm having issues with Thinkorswim, I can also use this to trade on. So now if I go into my E-Trade settings, here they call it speed keys. And the functions are all pretty much the same, except here they also make me specify the quantity of shares for each hotkey. So this setting will do exactly the same as my thinkorswim short hotkey, but it does it specifically with 1000 shares. So now if I go back into my X key settings, I have that set at the first bottom key. And instead of making a bunch of keys for every single quantity, I just made one for 2000 shares, 3000, 4000, 5000, and 9000 shares. And the same close position button and cancel all button located on the same keys as my thinkorswim. And the last button is just the enter button, the same you would find on your keyboard. So now to use it, I just need to make sure use speed keys is checked. And here I don't need to worry about typing in the quantities because it's already set in the speed key. So if I wanted to short 1000 shares of BlackBerry, I just hit the 1K button and there you go. If I want 4000 shares, I'll hit the 4K button. And because I didn't make a dedicated button for every single quantity, I pretty much do the same thing I do on Thinkorswim where if I want 8,000 shares, I'll hit the 4K button twice. And I'll cancel that. If I want 6,000 shares, I'll hit 3K twice and so on. So to bring it all together, I have multiple active ladder windows open on my Thinkorswim, along with a bunch of E-Trade order entry boxes underneath them, all populated with the same symbols I'm watching. And I'll mainly trade on Thinkorswim, but if it's hard to borrow and I can't short it, then I'll try to locate it on E-Trade. And I'll just click around and use my hotkeys to trade with and hopefully come out with some nice profits. So that is how I personally use hotkeys. You know, as day traders, we like to trade the more volatile stocks. So when price action is moving fast, this definitely helps me make faster executions. So with this information, do what you wish. Hopefully some light bulbs on off and you can take away something that can help with your trading. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you for being here and I hope to see you on the next one. LAX, my mics get checked. Coast to coast, I rock it most times, no sweat. Me to you, hear what we do and never forget. Now's the time, fall out of